In Ukraine, for the first time in more than a century, Christmas has come early. It's a shift from the Russian Orthodox tradition of celebrating the holiday on January 7th. Ukraine's government passed legislation earlier this year to officially change the day of celebration to December 25th. President Volodymyr Zelensky says the change represented Ukraine's desire to abandon any Russian heritage and unite Ukrainians. And joining me now is Mark Savchuk, a member of the Ukrainian Volunteer Journalist Initiative. Mark, thank you for joining us today. And I guess for the first time, we can say Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you, too. How does it feel celebrating Christmas on this day instead of in January? Uh, a lot of Ukrainians have actually been voicing their will to celebrate it on 25th for exactly the same reason as Vladimir Zelensky stated. We, since the war from 2014, we want uh, nothing to do with Russia. We want to be as far distant from it as possible. And we want to break any cultural uh, connections we ever had. So that is why, I, you know, I think right now Ukrainians are incredibly happy that, you know, for us, it's... Um, something like of a point of no return do you understand so we want to be as much separate from russia as humanly possible and we absolutely you know greet any kind of opportunity to do that so we are very happy today and have you had a chance to talk to people today uh, after services and get their thoughts on what it was like to be in church and especially almost two years into this horrific war uh, yes. Um, so basically, people are saying very much similar things. As I said, we had sort of like a transition period where almost like half of the country celebrated already on 25th and half of the 7th. And uh, it took some time, which is why it wasn't done in a day. Uh, and as you can see, the president, ex-president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko, uh, he was also part of this movement towards the West. And uh, people are generally very happy uh, so that, you know, they are, as Vladimir Zelensky said, united today. And they are celebrating Christmas because Ukraine is a Christian country. Do you think this sends a clear message to Russia? I think, to be honest, Russia doesn't care, neither cares Vladimir Putin. He will keep on his war as long as he has money and weapons to do so, which is precisely why Vladimir Zelensky and all Ukrainians are asking for one thing, to help us fight this war. There is nothing else. And this war is about saving Ukrainian lives, nothing else. Unfortunately, Putin doesn't care about anything else. He doesn't care about whether we uh, speak Ukrainian or Russian, whether we have a Christianic holiday on 25th. All he wants is to conquer Ukraine. And I think all the civilized world needs to do all it can to help Ukrainians defend themselves, defend their sovereignty and freedom. And nearly two years in, the second Christmas uh, during the war, uh, this war has taken a bit of a, gone to the background a little bit because of everything that's happened in the Middle East. But update us now on what's happening on the ground there. Well, situation is difficult because uh, Russians are pushing from basically all, all the positions that they have. And uh, the situation is also difficult because the aid package to Ukraine that should have been passed in United States Congress has been stalled for next year uh, due to the border crisis. And the financial package uh, from EU uh, to Ukraine has been stalled because of the uh, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban sabotage in EU and therefore it will be passed but it will be passed on later in 2024 so you know Ukrainian forces really would like to see some uh, unity uh, uh, when it comes to Ukrainian freedom and you know we will keep on fighting because we have nothing we have no other choice we either fight or we die so for us, it's a bit of a, you know, black and white situation. We're not going to stop. Uh, definitely Russians are not going to stop. But we understand that West has its own procedures that it must go through. So we, we're just very hopeful that it will it will end as mm -hmm. soon as possible and the help will come in in next year and we can finally push them back. That's all we ever think about. We, we have seen some reports of Putin apparently being open to an idea of a ceasefire where with the lines, the battle lines, the front lines where they are. Would Ukraine mm -hmm. be open to that? Uh, that's a lie. <laughs> uh, it's very weird that West, Western people really take that seriously. Uh, all he needs is a break, which is exactly why he's pushing through his, you know, pocket journalist. I can't really say anything else. Uh, this thesis, this topic that he's open to negotiations, obviously he's not. 
he has sustained a lot of losses and he needs time to recoup those losses to get more uh, armor, to get more equipment, to get into another attack. He needs to, time to get those resources behind him. Uh, there is no any uh, indication that whatsoever that they want to stop. Uh, they push like crazy. This is literally what people from the front line tell me. Uh, and uh, Putin himself on his own press conference said that, you know, all the aims that we have put uh, in, in our uh, special military operation, that's what they call it, are all in place and we're going to push forward until we until we get to them. So, uh, you know, the only thing I can say is please don't listen to whatever he says okay. because he's never going to stop. That was never his intention. All right, Mark, thank you very much for joining us today on this uh, first full uh, Christmas in Ukraine on the 25th of December. Thank you.